Hi, this is Andrew from Trading Mastery and welcome to today's trading tip, which is all going to be about what we call fair value in the share market. On the screen, we've got a green line that is rising and then falling and rising and falling and rising again. And this can often be the share price of a particular listed business on the share market, whether it be in the US or the UK or maybe even Australia. And over time, we see prices move above and below what we call fair value, which is essentially the line through the middle of the screen. Now, of course, fair value is essentially where the market will often gravitate back towards after an extension and a rally higher where markets become expensive and also when markets become cheap, like we saw back in earlier in March 2020, the market will gravitate back towards fair value and then move either higher or potentially come back below that fair value line again. But the bottom line is, the point that I wanna make in today's training video is that your opportunity for success in the share market, whether you're trading CFDs, whether you're buying physical shares, whatever that might, might be, the opportunity to generate really meaningful returns is to be able to buy listed businesses when they're at least 30 to 50% off. Certainly you can get them 20, even 10% off, but where you're gonna get the real benefits over time is being able to understand how do we see where fair value is and see whether the business that you're looking at and evaluating is below or above the fair value line. So I'm gonna actually just pivot the screen just a little bit now to give you a better understanding of what it really looks like in the financial markets with respect to price action. And that might be year one down in the bottom left-hand corner and up in the top right-hand corner, that might be five years, it might be 10 years, it might be 20 years, it might be six months, depending on which particular listed business we're looking at. But the bottom line is what we wanna be doing where we can is be buying shares in listed businesses where we can see prices at a discount and understand why those businesses are at a discount. So as over time, we can compound the share price growth and if we'd like to reinvest the dividends, we can do that as well. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is just an example over the course of the last 20 years, some of the extraordinary events that have caused markets to be above fair value and below fair value. For example, back in 2000, 20 years ago, we had the dot-com bubble when the internet craze was just getting going and markets were very much in a bubble when it came to a lot of the listed businesses on the NASDAQ particularly. That bubble burst and the share market fell very sharply and the lowest point after that bubble burst where markets were very much below fair value was in 2003. So that was really the time to be able to pick up a lot of great value businesses uh, at those discounted prices. Then of course we saw the market rally through 2007, 08 um, to the GFC where we saw markets become well above fair value and a very high price in many cases. And it took until March 2009 until prices became under fair value when we saw the stock market correct in 2008, in the last half of 2008, and the low in the market was in March 2009. So that was where the market was really at a discount. We then of course fast forward to 2020, and in January we had financial markets at all time highs. They were expensive, they were well above fair value, and the market has since fallen um, in March very, very sharply over a very short period of time, the US market corrected about 36% on the S&P 500, and we saw markets very much below fair value. Now, if we look and see where we are right now, well, we had the January high, we had the March low, we had the August high, and where we are right now around the US election is, I believe, around about that fair value line and perhaps just under it in some circumstances. So I'd like to share with you in a moment some listed businesses, and this is certainly and by no means a recommendation for you to go out and buy them. I just want to give you some examples where right now we are below fair value and where we are also above fair value. But the bottom line is most people buy when prices are above and they sell below. Um, because they want to buy when the market's rising, but they sell when the market's falling, and they never really make anything meaningful. So the question comes down to, 
what do you know and understand? You've got to understand the list of businesses you buy, stay within your circle of competence, and what are businesses that could potentially be under fair value right now? And when you have that, you have a high margin of safety and the potential upside is significant. And wealthy investors have conviction when the market is 30 to 50% off. Underneath that fair value area, they will buy, buy, and buy. And when the market is rising, they may also be buying, but they'll try to avoid buying with aggressiveness when it's above fair value. They'll be looking to be aggressive when the market is below fair value. Now, here's an example of Bank of America, a big retail bank in the US, and, and that's a, essentially the last eight years of the price movement. And there's a blue line through the middle, which I consider to be about fair value. Underneath there at the moment, if you had have bought uh, Bank of America any time underneath that blue line, that's provided you with an opportunity of investing in Bank of America at fair value. When the price is above that blue line, uh, essentially the market is above fair value. Here's an example of a retail bank in Australia called ANZ over the course of the last 20 years. And you can see right now, it's currently trading very much below fair value. And what will likely happen, it was over time, given the nature of this business and the quality business that it is, it will likely trade back towards that fair value point and eventually probably above fair value. But it is important for us to know as investors and traders, why businesses are trading underneath their fair value. Here's an example of Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's business. It's trading currently in what I consider to be underneath fair value and likely over time, if we see a vaccine early in 2021 and into 2022, it will likely trade back towards fair value and above. Disney, another example, you're all familiar with the business Disney. Again, currently trading just under fair value. Here's a business that is a um, in the petroleum industry, Woodside in Australia. And you could see here it's a, it's a 20 year period and you'd have to say it's not really been a successful business to own for a long period of time because the share price has gone from about $17 up to about $70 and back down to 17 again. And you can see that for the most part, it stayed above fair value and there's a period of time right now where it's a below fair value. It's very important for us to understand why businesses are below fair value. We don't just rely on looking at a set of charts. Treasury Wine Estates here, one of the big wine labels in Australia, um, Penfolds Grange, you may be familiar with that if you enjoy a, a nice expensive bottle of red, currently well below fair value. And this is where a lot of people will come in. A lot of experienced investors will come in, look at the share price, look at the business, understand why the business is cheap, and actually they will swing big and buy quite aggressively into some of these businesses. Macquarie Bank is another one, clearly well below fair value back in March. Even now is still trading what I would class underneath fair value. Also here, Wells Fargo, a big retail bank in the US, very much trading below fair value at the moment, but there's a very valid reason why Wells Fargo is trading that low. There's a lot of credit risk in the United States. Banks are not paying dividends. They're being asked to hold on to cash. But I think over time, and you'll have to be very patient with banks, what we'll generally find is most banks will generally recover, uh, but it's gonna take interest rates to likely pick up people to win back their jobs, unemployment rates to come down, and credit risk to dissolve out of um, the banking sector. Now I wanna show you some tech stocks where we've got um, fair value that is very high. What we would consider to be well above fair value right now, a business like Amazon, a business like Apple currently above fair value, a business like Walmart is certainly trading above fair value. But over the course of the last four years here, yeah, from 2016 through to 2020, what you can see is there are plenty of times where it would have traded back under fair value and given you an opportunity to invest. We can also see here, this is Chevron, listed on the New York Stock Exchange, currently trading around $70 and well under fair value. And this is where a lot of investors will look and say, hey, what's the probability of this business trading back towards fair value in the next two to three years? What's the opportunity for me to pick up a, a, a 70, 80, 90% return on investment? Well, history shows if it's a great quality business and there's nothing fundamentally and financially wrong with the business, the probability is actually pretty good. The final one here I wanna show you is Coca-Cola. 
currently trading underneath fair value. Stadiums, restaurants, bars are still not open mostly around the world. So therefore, there's not as much Coca-Cola and other beverages that they serve. There's a hundred brands in the Coca-Cola business actually being served in those places. So once we see a vaccine and we once we see economic output improve, then the probability is uh, Coca-Cola will trade back up towards the top of uh, the range and into and above fair value. So I hope this video has helped you understand a little more about fair value. The bottom line is this, keep it simple. You want to be looking at great quality listed businesses and be looking to buy shares in those businesses when they are below fair value. If you'd like to learn more about that, please jump across to tradingmastery.com and jump on there and get access to our free Get Started mini course. There are some terms and conditions that apply, but you'll be able to get access to that immediately. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, happy trading.